All right, hi guys, welcome back to Doki 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 Doki. This we got. I got mail, guys. <clears throat> Subject: OMG. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. Ha ha ha! It would get 404 in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually, or do you come up, or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the content of the tweets, e.g. is not screaming for help, I'd assume they're coming from the control sim simulation? Monica has lay Twitter. Anyway, re reflection. I'm excited. I like these two. I like all of them, though, so that means nothing. My fortune cookie- Shut up, Monica. My, <laughs> my fortune cookie says that- change that I will want will come to me soon and that's good this song is amazing anyway <laughs> I apologize and so I think that means that whatever game I play next I'll like my thing is the game I really want to play I've already played before so I think I'm gonna do two games at once I'm gonna try that again even though it failed me last time um but I'm not going to make custom thumbnails for each episode, I'm just going to make them for the series, and then maybe change it later. Um, but I'm not, yeah. Thumbs up. Am I bothering you? Hmm? No. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into what you're reading. <laughs> it makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's just within my exp well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted while I read. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, that you're more than ready to socialize, even if it takes a little prodding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. So it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people, or everyone's being too silly for me to keep up with. I'm not silly. Yuri glances around the room at Sayori and Natsuki. They're not that silly, come on. Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open, trying to catch a piece of cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air, but the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Oh my god, I love those two so much. Maybe I should say something? No need, they just ran out of cookie, what a waste. They've become really good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Sayori so seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it works out well. Yeah, come to think of it, you and I haven't had many chances to talk one-on-one, -on -one, have we? Though that may be partially my fault, since I'm supposed to be engaging... Uh, I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I've probably formed a bit of a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. Yeah, it's me too, Yuri. Me too, sweetheart. The responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during lunch? times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I, I just read. I don't have friends. You're Monica, go ahead. Oh. But I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of classes. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Yuri. I usually spend my lunches alone. I have a friend who sits with me. Hi, Kate. Uh, sometimes... But that's kind of how I like it, you know. Sometimes I have a friend, sometimes I have no friend. And that's good, because then that means I get to sit there and quietly judge people. Instead of sit there and out loud judge people. Hmm, do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I've read recently, but it's only because I'm in the middle of the series. There are still two books after this one. I guess those b long books suit you well, since you spend so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite. But after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with death and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like, romance? Well, uh, just Twilight. I mean, uh, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh come on, Yuri, you know what I mean. Young adult fiction, guy. Oh god. My heater is going. I'm gonna wait till it stops to keep playing, I'm sorry. I'm gonna pause my recording. All right, all right, we're back. Sorry, my heater is extremely loud, and I didn't want—I didn't want to have put you through that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> anyway, Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do, too. 
maybe more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. So it just, I just, it kind of felt like, meh, please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry, I just got super curious. I'm a little bi-curious, Yuri. I'm kidding. <laughs> so I need to stop. I'm really gay today, guys. Help. Anyway. You know, we should totally pick out a random romance novel to read. It would be so much fun. Absolutely not. <laughs> really? Even if it's just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Um, how dare. Natsuki would never read a romance novel. <laughs> she would read a romance manga. Ouch! Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean uh, that. <laughs> well, I guess it's my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past, too, you know? So, I feel too embarrassed to read. Uh, things I feel too embarrassed to re experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things, it happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be on my own interests. And she thinks she'll likely grow out of it, too. Are you talking about me? I can hear the name Natsuki from a mile away. No, I'm not talking about you. Don't hit me. I wasn't going to hit you, but now I will. Sorry. Um, no, we were just... We were talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Hmm? Like a couple years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but I wasn't going really hard until then. Oh, yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. I guess. Let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, I was just like really fired up on a lot of things, so I got super into this one series I was really related to. And I guess I just had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me and wanted to be by myself. Ha 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 ha! Hey, that's kind of like Yuri. Monica, I'm not edgy! Shut up! Ha <laughs> ha, sorry. That's completely wrong. So, it's so cool that you both found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it sounds like. They helped you through hard times. You know it. Mm -mm. What the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um, it's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you think that it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Natsuki estimates by holding her hands above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. If I could get one of those manga, I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long, so I can read more than you. <laughs> Not that I have money for that. <laughs> Please, that would hardly count when your books are only a few words per page. Her rump. Yuri, sweetheart, I love you, but shut up. <laughs> Boop. I know, I was just joking. I can never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Yuri shoots a glare at Natsuki. Yuri, you're being mean too. Just, you both need to stop. It's not boring. Chill, I said for me, not for you. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Sayori, are those from the floor? No. <laughs> Me too, Sayori. I would definitely be hanging out with Sayori and Natsuki. No offense to Yuri or Monica, I love them. Sayori and Natsuki is my fucking team, I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> Gross. Also, wash your hands before you touch any of my books. But my hands aren't dirty. Just do it, your oils... The oils are there, even if you can't see them. Fine. Sorry, trots out the door and Natsuki follows. Monica, are my books boring? <laughs> Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have calling my hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly, she was so condescending. I don't mind- Yuri, you were just condescend- Sweetheart, Yuri, my, my child, you're, you're also being condescending. I'm not taking a side in this argument, but you're being a little silly, Yuri. Boop. I don't mind if she- she thinks it's not for her. I already understand it's not for everyone. But she knows, well, how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't, You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in literature clubs, so I figure we should learn how to mediate discussions to keep positive and construction, constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books, and also your ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Well, this is something I'll have to talk- think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary, I just wish to be respected. That then. Either way, I can- I'll do my best. 
I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. I have a skeptical YouTube channel. I have a YouTube skeptic. I disprove, um, libtards and, <laughs> and Christians. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't put my hobbies into this, am I right, guys? So tired. <laughs> okay, everyone. Sorry, listen to music. Okay, I like this. Anyway. We have a special club meeting today. I- ooh. Ooh, that beat. Anyway, as you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means you should be mindful on how to respond to each other's feelings. <clears throat> I think we have a chance to d turn our differences into po positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Well, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused or something. No, I'm not accusing y anyone of anything. I'm sorry if it came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language, and I thought it'd be a good topic for the Literature Club, don't you think? I mean, that's true, Monica, very true. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure we have our di own diff- uh, I'm sure we're gonna have differences in opinion a lot, so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure. The cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want to, the other person to feel when we receiving our thought. Hell yeah, Monica, you tell them. I love this stuff. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, basically everything. For example, Sayori, what's your favorite food? Um, I have them organized by category. Should I start with snacks or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh, jeez. How about your favorite fruit? That's easy. Cherries. Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? Cherries are delicious! Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how anyone could think cherries are nasty. Hell yes, they are. You tell her. I love cherries. This thing with Monica, this is something I actually really like, is power of language. It's very cool. Anyway. <clears throat> how does it make you feel? I don't know. Sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See, the reason you got such a strong reaction is because I don't like cherry. Well, it wasn't just because I don't like cherries, it's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. When I say something like, I think cherries are nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with, m with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on! You think cherries are nasty? I'm gonna kill you! Anyway, how was, how was that objective when you just said that it was your only your own opinion? It has to do with the way our brains intercept words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Like, Sayori, rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead I said, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, it's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. Okay, so cherries is kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. This time around, I stopped talking about cherries. I just talked about my feelings, and Sayori didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with one another, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Yuri, you don't need to take notes. I'm not going to quiz you or something. Aw, Yuri. I know that uh, cherries aren't nasty is what I'm writing. I'm writing a poem about how cherries aren't nasty. Leave me alone. I was just... Mm, sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. You can do whatever you like. But does everyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like... Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put my all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you're, you're a fucking snowflake, Monica. <laughs> Sorry, I need to stop. <sighs> Alright. Well, you don't have to. Your, the choice of your own is how you want to come across for people. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, cherry hater. Oh, come on. Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just using that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> Sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. How about a cherry sundae? You're welcome to ju dupe me anytime, my beloved president. Buying your people's loyalty. How deplorable. 
Oh, <laughs> like you would turn down a free Sunday, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. Well, I was, I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So now that we have the gist of it, why don't we try with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Let's have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Yuri, do you want to start? Um, well, I'd rather not, no. Uh, how come? Well, because I don't see how anything productive can come from that. It's just gonna start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. You know I'm great at stopping arguments. That's part of- that's one of my fucking traits. <laughs> Let's just start the common rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to coddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. Respectable. Yuri expression changes at the word. As Monica recalls, being respected is the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like, it's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy it. Whatever, whatever it is you like. I just prefer more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were gonna say mangas for children or something. I don't... I, like, I don't hear enough of that. But there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. What, are you serious? How come you never told me? Because that was a past point in my life and I prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Hold on, can I jump in here? Uh, I happen to see that Natsuki has some porn manga and I- <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to stop. I need to relax. My gay is coming out. Alright. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because you imply that manga is immature, aren't you implying that someone is immature for being into it? I... I'm Sayori! Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki! Nobody is immature! We're all mature and perfectly mature! Remember yesterday when I ate cookies off the floor? That was a mature thing to do! I've read manga, Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy, and I love them both in their own way. Okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, it means... I mean, the thing about... This is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? Because Natsuki's a child. I knew it was just gonna make people upset. I'm not upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me, so I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. That's not true at all, you're making assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody has ever had the least bit of respect for the things I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. Hey, what, have you looked in a mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling all of my interests immature. You can't- Please stop. Please? I- You don't mean to think what you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems next time, okay? Yuri's piercing words sent the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Fuck. Holy crap. I never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you aren't very nice either, so... I was just saying... How did this happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I should have I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I know I'm bad at dealing with conflicts. It was really stupid it was a really stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault and it wasn't stupid. I'm stupid. Sorry. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kinda of brought it about herself. Like I said, I don't really care if you're not into manga, but you can't just look down on other people. But can't you just not look down on other people for it? I don't know. That's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugarcoating things, it's about recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you're trying to do, but I think the problem here is her, not just the, like, the way we talk to each other, right? I mean... Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. 
Wow, I'm just like, saying that instinctively. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. God, I have had so many problems recording this video. It just cut out because I ran out of storage. But I'm back. I'm back. God damn it. Because I can just move on now. But, mm, it's fine, I promise. Let's just get our mind off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding Yuri's superiority complex. Don't be mean. I'll talk or read... I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but... Uh, I at least know we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Netsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other the least out of anyone, and this is the reason. If Sayori and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with Ma as Natsu Sayori and Natsuki dis proceed to distract themselves with Maga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Will the club really just have to come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, but she knows Sayori does, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, the solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Since my things keep cutting out, I don't know how much uh, time I've recorded for, but whatever. This? Oh, yeah, this is definitely the one. Very cute. Oh, it's still playing. I forgot it does that. Whatever, let's start. A new day arrives. Sayori arrives at the club room earlier than usual. That is, not late. She enters, it appears to be still em empty still. So she sits down at a desk, pulls out a sheet of paper, proud to jot down her thoughts. Siri has made a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feelings on paper whenever possible, as it tends to serve her best, serve as her best inspiration for poetry. My heart feels vacant because a ship sailed away. Yell. Ah! Natsuki! Natsuki pokes her head out from behind the closet door. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But it would have been a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. I doubt you want to lis you want me listening in on your poetry thing. Yeah, thanks for realizing that. Should I let you finish that up, up then? No, I wasn't. I mean, I just do whenever it's convenient. You're not interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she's out in the hallway. Huh? Why? Well, in case she runs into Yuri. Sometimes Yuri's too nervous to come into the club room by herself, so... Oh. Jeez, does Yuri really have to let things bother her for that long? She can't control her feelings. For some people, it's really hard to cope when, when you get a bad thought in your head. Maybe you can distract yourself for a little while, but as soon as, it, as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. Mm. Hmm? I just want to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all ignore it and move on. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's so stupid. Her opinion of me doesn't matter anyway. Besides, it makes me feel really guilty and I hate that too. It's okay to have feelings. It doesn't make you weak. Let's figure this out together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with a happy scene. Maybe that'll help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had to have that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe. I doubt it, though. Because my friends and other people make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore them. It's, but something about it really got to me this time, and I hate that I'm letting that happen. Is it because it came from Yuri? No, why would that matter? I mean, well, well, maybe. I just hate that she thinks she's so much better than me just because she likes to pretend to be all sophisticated. Well, that's what it is. At least other people decide that they don't like me or manga or whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good to even give it a chance. I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, exactly. Would you like to give Yuri's books a chance? <laughs> After that, this? Obviously not. What about before this? Well, I would until I got bored, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually keep an open mind, it's not hard to realize the story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see. But, you know, I like Yuri's books. 
Yeah, but you like manga more, right? Zuri shakes her head. I like them both. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest and fun and easy to just let go with. And the fantasy books has to inter And the fantasy has a lot to interpret and uncover. It's really rewarding to have some good, quiet time together with it. But the most important thing is that is that both of, well, both of the manga and fantasy are true to themselves. So I love them both. And I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. And I feel like maybe, maybe they have more in common than you would think. How do you get along with everyone so well? I always get into fights with people. Like, first it was with Monica when I was new to the club, and then it was with you, and now it's with Yuri. I'm always like, oh, that person is such a jerk, and they just realized that they would get they could at least get along. And nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the reality that everyone's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki. Sayori puts a comforting hand on Natsuki's shoulder. I love you, Natsuki. <laughs> You're a wonderful person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know, and sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes... Sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kinds of communication and it makes you feel mag and it, and it feels like you magically connect with them but other times even if both people are really nice it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or get the communication wrong it's something that Yuri struggles with a lot too it can be really hard it takes a lot of like reflection and self-awareness and vulnerability i'm bad at that one vulnerability i always have to be the strongest what do you mean? Tell me about that part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm used to people being really mean to me. Like my friends, and I guess my dad. Like, I don't get a lot, get good grades or even stupid things. Like, my room isn't clean. So what am I going to do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then I'm letting them win. I'm better than that. Not for the same reasons, but I am there with Natsuki. I have a really weird complex about being the strongest and not having, like, my emotions known by people. It makes me... Pretty uncomfortable, unless it's in writing, in which case it's fine. I don't like expressing those things. That's, I don't like that. That bothers me a lot. If you couldn't tell by how angry I got when I cried in one of these games, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the first one. I cried a little bit, and I got pissed off, and it's because I just hate crying, and I hate, I hate expressing that part of myself. I really hate it. I hate it. I just, I never cry, is the thing. Because a lot of people talk about crying a lot, and I just don't. I just get angry. And it's a problem. And it's a problem me and Natsuki seem to share. <laughs> if I let myself get upset, then I'm just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. Yeah, me too, Natsuki. I've been there. So, things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something goes wrong, there's a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then I just get really angry. And I always find ways to blame everything everyone, everything else instead. Yeah, me too, Natsuki. Do you see yourself as better than Yuri? If I said that, I would just sound really full of myself. No. Our thoughts and feelings are two different things. Even if we don't like our feelings, we still have to understand them and learn more about... If we want to learn more about themselves. I love, I love Sayori, and I really agree with her. She's so good. Sayori's so good. I love Sayori. Anyway. That's part of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have feelings that we don't like. I... I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want me, t me that just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's judgmental, know-it-all, stuck-up, edgy phase that I, I'm just way above that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. You're not your feelings. But you are not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. Fine. I am not my feelings. That's the way I like to picture it. Now those feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta see each other every day. And you can't ignore each other most of the time. You're gonna run into each other every now and then it's gonna make you feel like poop. The other option is to get to know each other. Then you can communicate and learn from each other and maybe help, you can help each other change for the better. Does that help you understand? How do you know so much about this stuff? I just have a roommate that can be a little hard, really hard to get along with. 
called depression. Depression? But you're like the happiest person I know. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. Oh, you little sweetheart. We're all good people. You and Yuri and Monica. And I think Yuri will eventually learn that about you. Natsuki remains silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Sayori's kind reassurance, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seems to fill her as though fl flowing from a wound inside her. God, why does this game have to be accurate? Fuck this game. I don't like this game anymore. Was this the result of her vulnerability? No. It wasn't as though she was inflicted with a wound after becoming vulnerable. It was as though she rediscovered an old wound, one that cannot be simply sim that cannot simply be bandaged or left alone any longer. Yuri, what are you doing all the way over here? I was looking for you. I... Please don't yell at me. I'm not gonna yell at you. I just wanted to say... I'm not... That, that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair for me to put everyone on the spot like that. Next time, I won't just jump in and... And... And solve everyone's problems. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. You're not mad at me. I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. Yuri curls up, recalling details of the argument. I can't even handle normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Hold on, that's not what happened at all. Let's talk about this, okay? Yuri pauses for a second and manages a nod. Monica takes a seat next to her on the staircase. I'm having a lot of negative thought patterns. I can't get away from them. What kinds of negative thought pro patterns? Like, everyone hates me, especially Natsuki. Aw, oh, that's terrible. I don't think Natsuki hates you. How do you know? Well, because... Monica thinks back to the time that she found herself in an altercation with Natsuki, and how the display of maturity from Monica was enough for Natsuki to reevaluate her own feelings as well. I think, I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. I think she acts mean when she feels that she needs to protect herself. But you know, she's really not a bad person. In fact, she can be really thoughtful and considerate. She just, well, I guess it's just the way things work. I guess. The way it works is that she just wants to receive some degree of kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh. But that means the burden is on me. I don't know how to say things to make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... Yuri shakes her head and tugs on her hair. It's okay, Yuri. You don't have to beat yourself up. I think anyone would like you if they had the chance to get to know you. Well, unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talkative anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. And that's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Natsuki even said she found it more respectable when people speak their mind, so I did, and she hated me anyway. Now that's enough to confirm my fears. But Sayori and I like you. We've gotten to know you a lot by now, right? Hmm. Yuri doesn't seem to have a response. Hey, what do you think of Natsuki? I don't think about her. That's not what I meant, really. I don't think about her, I'm not into her. Sorry, I need to stop. I need to shut my gay. Shut gay. Imagine that your brain is made of tiny boxes. I find the box that's gay and crush it! Alright, I'm better now. <laughs> that's not what I meant, really. Uh, I just... Mm. I was just wondering if you had an opinion of her. I do. What is it? Natsuki seems to bring out the worst in me, and I feel really ashamed of it. I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person, so for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior despite my tastes, that's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her, and it makes me think bad things about her. But everyone else seems to like her, so the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong again. And my feelings about her are wrong, and I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inconsequential. No, Yuri. Feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. That's the thing. Feelings are never right or wrong, you know. They're just, you know, just a state of being. You have to, they, you don't, that we don't always have control over. But that doesn't mean they have to control us. I feel like that's something I learned around when I first started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Or we could, you know, just acknowledge that they exist and try to understand them better. I can never be mad at you for feeling a certain way. It's about how you handle them. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. Yuri wears a dejected expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature. And so good with people. 
I feel like such a child in comparison. Oh, Yuri. I'm far from perfect. But these are learned skills. They don't come naturally to me, either. It's really hard to, like, reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from your thoughts. I just want to be a good person. Well, I think it takes a good person to get this far. That's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate with her. Communicate what? How I feel. Oh, it makes me feel frustrated and upset when she's so negative and dismissive towards the things that mean so much to me. And how it... Reminds me of me. Because I know that... I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know know that telling yourself you're better than everyone else is just a defensive mechanism. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. But I'm just tired of getting in the way. I can't say that stand it when the piece is disturbed like this. Yeah, you can't focus on reading when the piece is disturbed, right? Because I... Because... The literature club should be happy for everyone. Monica looks at Yuri in adoration. I feel like Sayori must be rubbing off on me, because I really want to hug you now. Mm. <laughs> Sorry I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, um, I mean... Well, if you wanted to, I wouldn't really mind, so... Monica Yuri pulls Yuri into a short embrace. You're so gentle. I love it when you communicate your feelings. Oh my god, stop! You guys are ruining it! You guys are making me so gay right now! Okay. Okay, take a deep breath. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Kate, when you see this, shut up. <sighs> anyway. I feel lucky to see that side of you. And I'm sure Natsuki will too. Cut to them hugging. I want to see it. I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter? What a great idea. Just because I'm not good at talking, especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me, and I forget to say all the important things, and I say things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Yuri's face hardens with determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality just isn't suited for that. And I wouldn't want it to be. But something I've learned is that friendship don't always just magically appear within thin air. For instance, I would never imagine myself making friends with someone like Sayori. We're opposite in a lot of ways, but I'm friends with her because she puts so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along. I think it's the same with you. You and... You both gave me a lot of time and patience. I wonder if, if she feels the same way. Natsuki? Yuri nods. I always thought that if I wanted to make more friends, I had to be someone that I'm not. There's a type of person or a mag like th that, that there's a type of person or a magical formula I have to follow in order to make someone like me. And that's just and that's just like me to think that people are so occupied always so occupied with myself that I fail to understand other people. Yuri shakes her head. Friendship happens when you think about other people. When you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust that that they also want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my observations of the literature club. Observations? Monica's caught oh, by surprise. Yuri always keeps to herself. It's so unnat- so, That it's unusual to hear her suddenly talk about the club like this. But Yuri gently smiles to herself. You always list, let me You always let me listen to your thoughts about people. Sayori too. And it makes me happy because I learned a lot of things. That's so sweet. I had no idea I meant that much. Monica never thought about it, but over the past few weeks, y weeks Yuri seemed to be especially attentive when it came to problems- the problems and concerns of others. Always wanting to listen and learn more about her friends in the club. Hug. Hug. Picture. Damn it. It's true. Sayori and Monica are naturally more comfortable with other people. and can easily, more easily work through situations of conflict, but that doesn't make them better people. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses and a capacity, capacity to improve. And the first step towards improving oneself is reflecting on self-awareness. It's something that Yuri never gave herself enough credit for, but that Monica can recognize as an incredible habit. And with that, her confidence in the club is restored. Are you telling me? Okay, good. I was gonna say, if it ends there and I don't get that fucking cute picture, I'm going to stab a man! A very shy girl with long, pretty hair is wandering the bustling at lunchtime hallways, her fists pressed into her collarbone. When she finds the literature club president's classroom, she stands at the door, glancing around her before peering inside. Monica is sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, as expected, this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Before she can re regain composure or decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Yuri, what a surprise to see you during lunch! Yuri squeaks in response. Please help me. What? Is everything okay? 
Yuri shakes her head. I... I don't know how to write letters. <laughs> Thank goodness, I thought it was some kind of emergency. Monica breathes, briefly glances over her shoulder at her other friends. Do you want some help? We can go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad for taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine, I promise. We weren't doing anything. One sec. Monica trucks back into the classroom, says something like, I gotta go to her friends, and grabs a pen off her desk before turning to Yuri. Okay, let's find somewhere quiet. Yuri follows and uh, nods and follows Monica as the two of them set off. H how are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry, I guess I was caught off guard. I'm just- I'm doing well today. Just tired. I can never get enough sleep during the week. Oh, come. Oh, I don't know. I think I just get easily distracted or sucked into things that start- and start neglecting the time. Me too, I do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in there. After peering inside, Monica opens a classroom door and the two of them enter. Yuri's mo moment of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pulls two chairs out of the same desk, and then obeys as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stares down at the empty desk. You nervous? I don't want to do this. We don't- we don't have to. We can come up with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take initiative. Oh gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is to step out of your comfort zone. I'll- I'll be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper. I didn't read that. Then she picks up her pen. <gasps> so cute! Uh, no, I didn't mean to hit that button. I didn't read that. I don't care. I don't care. Oh my god. Fuck. So cute. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, Monica's pen. So cute. Fuck. Monica, don't look at her like that. It's very gay and it's making me uncomfortable. Uh... You're so cute, both of them. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my soda while I look at this. It's way too cute. It's not healthy how cute this is to me. <sighs> uh, yeah. I sh should probably have read that. Let me read that. <clears throat> hey, you're left-handed! That's neat! Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, she's left-handed! My mom's left-handed. I love you, Yuri. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about bumping your arm! Monica playfully rubs her shoulder against your- Stop it. Stop it, the gay. The gay. Uh, sorry, I'm being a little silly, I guess. Anyway, how about we start by listing the different things you want to say to her? Mm, Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Oh, it's okay. How about some of the things you said to me yesterday? But, oh my god, so fucking cute. Look at Yuri! But, never mind, I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension evident. Oh, I keep doing that by accident. Then she writes down the word reflection. This is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is why we act like this towards each other, but, uh, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me! <laughs> oh my god. They're both so fucking cute. I'm gonna stab somebody. You guys gotta get used to it. I I have cuteness aggression majorly. It's not healthy. Yes, it is. So, Yuri thinks I've been able to befriend two of the two of you because I because you've taken time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Mm-hmm. Same goes for Natsuki too. So fucking cute. We started off pretty hostile towards each other because I was worried about getting what I wanted, but she wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. I want to do that too. Oh my, so cute! Okay, I'm sorry, god damn it! Sorry guys, I'm going through my girl crazy face, I can't help it, okay? So cute. Mm, I like girls. So what kinds of things do you want to do for her? I want... I want to do the same things for her that I like to receive. I like when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not, and not just brush me off. I like when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Let's write those things down. Okay. Yuri writes some things down. I think it's most important to remember that is that Natsuki is- Oh, sorry, that's Monica. I think the most important thing to remember is with that when Natsuki is feeling vul- is that Natsuki is feeling vulnerable. We should make sure to, that the letter puts her first. 
it's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it ha but it never helps it just tell someone all the things that they're doing wrong. I think you have to make sure that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit things things that you could do to feel better. Then finally, you can ask what you would like in return. How's that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of these points. I like that. So cute. Yuri is so cute. Monica, stop looking at her like that. It's so gay. This is the gayest fucking shit I've seen ever. Oh my god, it's so gay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to stop. My thoughts were so disorganized, I had no idea to come up with any kind of structure. You're amazing at these things. Stop it! So gay! <sighs> no, I, I just need... No! Fine, 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 fine. <sighs> oh, stop. Oh my god, stop. Stop! You've done so much more than I have, you know? You spent so much time reflecting and being open-minded. That's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're the amazing one. Mmm. <laughs> like, Yuri. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna take a sip of my soda again. It's not gonna relax me, it's soda, but... I need to think. <sighs> I'm not gay. Mmm. Monica gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. Stop. She lets go. It's caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand up. Stop! For a while they sit like this, silence, giving each other... Save for the occasional scratching of pen against the paper. Yesterday you told me that I'm thinking... Yesterday you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? About how feelings aren't right or wrong, they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. Made me think about how a person's behavior isn't just how they decide to be. It's also made up their past experiences and insecurities. I think that helps me see other people as actual people rather than just as an insignificant side character who who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you feel about Natsuki? Yuri nods. So fucking cute. But in reality, everyone is trying their best and everyone wants to be happy. Monica peers over at Yuri's paper, but to her surprise, Yuri pulls it closer, covering it with her arm. <laughs> I need to be able to read to help out, you know. It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now, after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I'd really prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs softly to herself, a rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing, but I've done enough damage. <laughs> but it's also been wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but Yuri smiles. I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. Oh, me too. Stop, it's so gay. I'm sorry. The, the way they're looking at each other with the blush, I'm gonna fucking stab myself. Ah, uh, wrong button. They're so cute, both of them, I swear to god. Oh, uh, Yuri, I relate. I relate. And also, I'm jealous. <laughs> but listening to you so much has helped me make sense of a lot of things. So, don't call it damage, please. Monica Gret gives Yuri a gentle smile. Stop! It's so gay! I can't believe I came to this club looking, looking for a fantasy geeks and I got with real friends who value me. Is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> I still can't tell with you. Sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. You're going to make me fucking squee. <laughs> this is the reason I didn't want to play like Danganronpa V3 or anything. Is because sometimes I get a little a little fangirly. I can't help it. Look at them. Look at them. As you wish. Oh my god, stop, gay. Gay, gay, gay. Come back. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. I don't want to come back to the club the same day that Atsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. My dad might be here. It was either my dad or the mailman. It's my dad. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ, this recording has taken me forever to finish, but I should almost be done. It's just that my dad was just here, and I don't want to do stupid voices while my dad's here. Because he's gonna judge me. I'm kidding, he's not. He's fine. 
But now my cat's all riled up. Franny, go lay down. Whatever. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales and the two stand up. I'll message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. Yuri returns a nod and the two depart. That should be it, right? I can't believe my dad showed up right before that. Like, that's so quick. Oh, I have not- Oh, I have- <gasps> Oh my god! So cute. No, 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 I'm keeping the net sticky one, but oh my god. No, go burp! Taking that picture. So cute. So adorable. So wholesome. Oh my god. Fuck! Anyway, I'm- Yes. Yes! Gay! Gay, 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 gay. Love them. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Got another picture. This! Hello! What else have I unlocked? It says I still have something. Franny, shut the fuck up! I guess I looked at everything. Alright! I guess that's it! I finished the video, finally. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, blah blah blue blue blee blah bloop, and goodbye. <laughs>